Hi, I'm George, and we're going to change the face on the creeper right here. Give it a new look with a new face. So the first thing we need to do is to get that actual skin file. So I'll switch over to the desktop and I'll show you where to find that. The first thing you'll need is a new folder on your computer. I just made one here in my C drive that I called Creeper. And now let's open up the Minecraft launcher. There we go. GoPro says installations. And on the top one here, right there where that file folder is, click on that. And this opens up the Minecraft folder. Okay, now in here, come all the way down where it says versions right here. Open that up and look for your version of Minecraft. I'm currently in 116.5 and that's right down here. Go inside of that and you should see two files. One's a .jar and one's a .json. We want that .jar file right there. Now if you're not seeing the .jar and the .json, go up here to view and put a check right there, font name extensions. Okay, let's bring our other window back up again. There it is. And then back to this window. I'm just going to right drag this over here and copy. There it is. Okay, we're done with this window. We can get that out of the way. Let's change this view here to large icons. And we need to open this up real easy. Simply change that .jar to a .zip like that. And that's a regular zip file. We can then right click on this and open in new window. And there we go. Okay, just a few things in here. First off, since we have this open, let's scroll way down here, down towards the bottom, and it is in the section right here down in the P's. Grab these two files, the pack MC Meta and the pack PNG, right drag those over here and copy. And then back into here again, scroll back to the top, back into assets, go into Minecraft, go into textures right here, come into entity right there. And a couple of things we want out of here. First off, we want the creeper, and that's this creeper folder right there. I'm just gonna right drag the whole folder in here and copy. And and then we also want the skeleton out of here. Same thing, right drag, and I'll just copy that whole folder over here. That's where we'll find our images that we'll be working from. Okay, this can now be closed, and we're all set to go ahead and open these things up. Now we'll be doing this inside of paint.net. It's free, and it's all that we need for this kind of project. Okay, here we are inside of paint.net, and here's our folder in front. Go into the creeper folder first, and then take the creeper PNG and just drag that over here and drop it in and choose open image. There it is, it's real small, so we'll zoom in on that, grab the zoom tool, and then just zoom in. There we go. Let's bring it back up our file folder, and let's go into that skeleton folder here. All you want is the skeleton PNG, same thing, just drag it over here and open image. And once again, let's just zoom in on that one. Okay. Our two images now here at the top, you see right here, there's the creeper and there's a skeleton. First thing I want to do is to increase the resolution on these. So go up to image, come down to resize. And in here it says width, just change that to 128. That's twice as big and choose okay. There we go. We can then back out a little bit. I'll come down here, back out just a touch, just like that. And let's get this thing recentered again. Okay, let's now go back to the skeleton file. Same thing, image, come down to resize 128. Choose OK. Let's just back out of that just a little bit. And let's get this zoomed up into place here so I can see that better. And that should be pretty good. Okay, now on the creeper, we want to make a duplicate of this layer. Go up to layers, come down to duplicate layer. And here's a new layer right there. We need to make this a lot darker. So grab the magic wand, which is right here. And then we're gonna be clicking out in the transparent area someplace. Just click out there and then go up here Click on this button, this is the add button, and then click in the other transparent areas. There we go, so that's now all selected. We now need to reverse that selection. Go up to edit, come down to invert selection right here. We can now paint over this in black. Let's go to our paintbrush tool. You should be on black already, looks pretty good. Okay, that brush is kind of small. Let's bring our brush size up a little bit here. That's pretty good, 20 is pretty good. And then just quickly paint over this whole area like that making it a solid black. There we go. We can now deselect that. So that's edit and then deselect. And then hide that layer back to our creeper layer. Back to our skeleton in here. I'll just zoom in on that just a little bit. Go to edit, come down to select all right here and then edit and copy. Okay, let's go back over here and then edit, paste into new layer. And that puts the skeleton same place right on top of the creeper layers in here. Now we need to remove the stuff that we don't want. Let's now show that black layer again so we can now see the skeleton stuff in here very easily. Now go up here and let's reset to the replace selection. And I want to use this now to remove the parts that we don't want. So I'm just going to pull this straight down like that, make a selection and hit the delete key. We'll remove that bit. Same thing for the top in here. Let's just do that and delete, get rid of that part of it. And right here, it's right in that part right there. Delete that. A little bit right here to get rid of this whole bottom section in here. We can get rid of this. Now in here, this is the skeleton's rib cage. Now if you look over here, we have where that starts here, there's one, two, three, four, five of these squares after that side. So here's this side, and one, two, three, four, five squares. So you want to delete after that, 
and get rid of this other stuff outside here and get rid of that top stuff which is right there and that leaves just the rib cage. Now on the head, we want to come in again one half of a line in here, one half of a block, so make a little thin selection like that and delete that. Do that for all of those sides. There we go, and the bottom. We can now make the face look a little bit better in here. And we'll do that by increasing our contrast a bit on the skeleton. Go up to adjustments and we'll come down to brightness contrast. There we go. Now in this, we want to increase the contrast, but that's gonna make our brightness too bright. So we'll do our contrast first. I have mine set for 33 and then bring the brightness down just a little bit. I'll set mine at negative 10, choose okay. And there we go. That adjusts the contrast here and down there. So looks pretty good. Let's now make our eyes bigger up in here. And for that, I'm first going to grab the color picker and just grab right in here. So this is the same kind of color as the eyes right now. And let's grab our pencil tool and let's just come in here and do a block here, then a block right in the corner. And the same thing this side like that and a block right in the corner. Gives a much better looking kind of skeleton eyes on that. If you want to have some texture, that's why I have the black as a new layer. I'll make this layer just a little bit transparent so you see some of the background texture through it. So for that, let's go ahead now and bring down the opacity on the background layer. So double click on that. That brings up our layer properties in here and then bring the opacity down so it's at 170. Choose OK. And that just gives us a dark green look. If you want it darker? Let's just go to 190 like that. And it's just a little bit darker. And this is going to be our Grim Creeper look. Click on the Save button right here. It should save into the same location that you were in before. Just choose Save. And then we need to save this out as a PNG file. So File, come down to Save As and choose from your list png it's your second option right down there choose save and replace and okay and then where it says flatten hit that there we go and that's it we're done with paint.net let's just get this out of the way okay we're back here to this folder let's now go over here where it just says creeper okay we now need to set up our folder structure for this so you first need to have an assets folder in here i'll just go here to the home button and new folder call it assets there you go I'll go inside of that new folder call this one minecraft there we go. Inside of this one, new folder. This is textures. There we go. Inside of that, new folder, entity. There we go. Inside of here is where the creeper folder goes. Let's go back to our creeper layer right here. And you can just take this and just copy this if you want. I'll just do a right click and copy. Let's go inside of our folder structure in here and then right click and paste. There's that folder. If we go inside of here, there is our PNG file. This is just the file that we had in paint.net. It's fine to leave it here. We can then come back if we want to and make changes on that, but everything else is set. We're now set to actually build our resource pack. And in the pack.mc meta, I've been opening up inside of Notepad++. It's a free download. I'll put a link for that in the description. Double click on that. All we need to do here is just to change the description up here. Make sure you leave those quotation marks and then give it a new name. I'll just call mine Grim Creeper and save. There we go. Let's now zip this thing together. So grab the assets, hold the control key down, get your pack MC meta and pack PNG, go up to share, hit zip, and then give it a new name. There we go. That's our new resource pack. We'll go back to the launcher, back to that folder right there, open that back up again. This time come down to where it says resource packs right here, go inside of this. Here's our resource packs. And then simply take this and drag it over here and drop it in. It's now inside the game. Okay, these can go away, that can go away, and we can now play the game. So I'll click on play, we'll let this load to the title screen, and then we'll activate that resource pack. Okay, here's the title screen. Come down to options and resource packs. You'll see the left hand side right there to click on that arrow. Puts it on the right hand side, that's all done. Click on done. Let that load in that new resource pack. And we'll click on done again, which is right there. And let's go ahead and launch into the game. Okay, we're back in the game. Let's go ahead now and make a few of those Grim Creepers and see what they look like. There we go. There's that new Creeper with a new face, which I like calling the Grim Creeper. Okay, and I'll see you next time.